Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the do software tester need to learn coding or not. Okay, uh, we're gonna discuss about the very important topic related to mandatory. It is demanded mandatory to write uh, code for a tester. Will I survive without the coding or not? No coding means less salary, or is it? Or should I learn to code or not? Okay, and what should I do next? So in this, all the questions we're gonna answer in this video. All right, so let's get started. Awesome guys. Uh, first of all, guys, uh, if you are someone who want to learn API testing, if you want to become manual test, if you want to switch from manual to automation, if you want to learn about rest assured, Selenium, and other software testing related things, make sure you check out the sd.live slash ytp, which is YouTube playlist. Okay. And if you are someone who is interested in joining our sort of uh, SD community over Telegram, make sure you do check out the t.t t.me slash the testing academy. Okay. Uh, let's answer the first question which is is it mandatory for a software tester to write code so the plain answer the short answer for this one is no it's simply no i'll tell you why very important point uh, i have seen people with 17 plus year 16 plus year 12 plus year 10 plus year years where they don't know about coding they don't know how to write a code trust me they know they know some technical aspects of it they understand code sometimes but they have no idea how to write code and they are basically subject matter expert they are fully into manual testing that i have seen and they are earning a very decent salary in the product based companies as well as in mncs also so really really it is not necessary coding is not necessary right but i would suggest uh, if you if you are interested in coding definitely learn about it but this myth is completely busted you don't require to code to become a software tester okay uh, so next question is will i survive without the push uh, will i survive without the coding or not this is very important right so yes of course i i have told you right you can survive uh, I, what i have seen is that after like four four to five years also uh, mostly you will be doing the qlit part or you will be doing the managerial part most of the time so only even if you see big developers, right, they generally write test uh, the, not test cases only, uh, whatever the code that they write, right, generally they write around six to seven years and after that mostly they will just mentor the different people, they don't write code afterwards, right. And if you are into the QA industry, software testing industry, right, initially suppose you are starting your career as a manual tester, you will be writing test plan, test cases, test execution and you will be doing the manual stuff most of the time. So coding is not required at that time right and after a certain time when you become a qa lead qa manager you will be basically helping the team to estimate to release and product uh, to basically handle the production bugs and other things so at that time you can survive without coding also so i have seen the people right now and uh, the only problem that these guys are facing especially the 16 17 plus year is, is that they are lacking in certain technical knowledge rather than coding they are lacking in technical knowledge so this technical knowledge actually is biting their biting their salary in base in the terms of salary so basically they are getting less salary as compared to the peers who have some automation knowledge or coding knowledge so that's what you will face in the future so uh, the now similar question arises is no coding means less salary per month yes uh, i guess it is debatable right uh, i have seen more sal salary in automation with my nine nine and a half years of experience i have seen people with the technical knowledge people with the automation knowledge uh, even the people with that 17 years 15 years right if they have an automation or technical knowledge or certain if they understand code right like if they are becoming as debt manager qm uh, as debt manager versus qm manager with different right so if they are into a more automation they have a decent salary as compared to the person who do who has no coding background no technical background on this okay and of course as dead managers are far 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 away as compared to the normal qa managers as dead manager have great salary as compared to the qa manager that i have seen personally okay now the question is should i learn to code or not if i have uh, 10 years experience five years experience as operator tester should i learn to code or not okay the answer is yes of course and you should be you have to be technical to understand the prs right there are uh, certain for example if suppose developer has basically built something and you want to find the bugs i would suggest what i used to do is basically 
whatever the PRs they have, I'll basically go through the PRs, what kind of code they have written, what kind of uh, impact area will be there in the product, right? This is how the technical things works. You will, so you will become more technical sound as compared to, so you will be, you will be able to basically uh, reduce the, the risk and you, you will be able to find the more bugs as compared to the other things, right? So yeah. Of course, uh, if you are someone who want to learn about the coding, definitely go with it. If you can understand the code, you will find more bugs or more risk of a product failure. This is really important, right? So that's what I have discussed here. That uh, should you learn, I would suggest, yes, at least you should know the core concepts of if you are into Python, JavaScript and Java. And let me give you the example of Java. If you understand core Java and if you understand the core concepts of whoops, you will be able to understand the most of the PRs uh, that I know. Right, and you will be under, you will be able to understand the core concept, what exactly they are touching, what kind of uh, products or the areas where they are touching the web application. So you will know the impact area clearly through the PRs. PRs are nothing but a pull request or the code they have written, and they have opened the PRs for the on a GitHub or anywhere Bitbucket they are using. So those things you will get to know, and this is how what I have done. I was continuously watching the PRs of developer. I was basically noting down my points. I have basically added the impact area. That impact area I have discussed with my juniors and peers that please test it out these areas because this developer has created a PR around this, right? And that was a very, very deal breaker because we were able to reduce bugs. We were able to reduce the risk and the product failure because of this. Okay, so this is a really important point. I'll tell you that, yes, please uh, start learning about the code. Understand the PR, this is really important for you guys. And if you are someone who is basically concerned about salary, yes, of course, you will find the uh, less salary as compared to the SDET manager and QA manager in the future aspects. Okay, so what should I do next, Pramod? You need to be become a skilled tester. This is really important. Skilled tester is nothing but who is basically sound in analytical as well as the technical aspects, right? Uh, expectation can be different in a different companies. For example, uh, sometimes uh, you require to have more manager work. Sometimes you can be a process improver, right? So uh, here is a very important point that I have basically seen in this article, which is what I am suggesting is please don't consider coding skills and testing skill as mutually exclusive. Okay, ability to code, code is important skill for a tester. So ability to code is an important skill for a tester. Make an effort to learn it. So this is a really important point. As come so, and you can you will find the more information uh, on this subject on this uh, LinkedIn article. This is a reference. Thanks a lot for this imp uh, important topic. So I hope you are now comfortable, like do software tester need to learn coding? Uh, I hope you get the answer. And if you're a fresher or even if you have a certain experience, you know, uh, you now have a high level mindset what you need to do in next, right? Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have learned something. My name is Pramod. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.